Man, as you can see, guys, um, I'm about to jump into a free for all. Well, this this gameplay I got like two days ago, guys. But yeah, um, this morning I woke up expecting double XP, guys, and I didn't get double XP. I didn't get double XP, and I'm thinking that Call of Duty or just Call of Duty in general, the franchise has has did or it did um, you know, April Fools and the April Fools does and all that stuff. So. That's why we don't have double XP, and I am so bummed out. But yeah, I'm bringing you today on Friday this quick little, um, you know, little free for all 30 and 9, something like that, that I got a couple days ago, you know. But yeah, guys, what I want to talk about is the future DLCs and the future Call of Duty. So, as you see, guys, in DLC 2, which has been um, announced and is the release date is April 19th, guys, they're bringing back Bach. Bach something like that I forgot from um world that war reimagined as verge guys that is awesome guys that is like that's awesome because that's a very classic map and to like revamp it with some new um with, with new textures and new colors it's pretty cool it's a pretty cool idea to me also they're bringing back um shino numa from world at war which is i am so so pumped for that for that zombies map guys i love shino numa i played the crap out of shino numa I played it so much in, back in the day, guys. But yeah, other than that, guys, DLC 2, you know, it has it has um three other multiplayer maps. One is like a uh, an advanced um an advanced you know um like military base a uh, boat looking thing or, or like a like a big big like boat. It's it's basically like a another smaller i think it's like a smaller version of like hijack or, or rejack or whatever the heck it's called UAV on standby. Not reject, but, but yeah um also that other than that i hope that they bring i hope they bring the new specialist that everybody has been talking about i've been talking about a new specialist or whatever or whatnot but i hope they bring it back guys or not bring it back but bring a new specialist into the into black ops 3 um and yeah that's basically the, the part for the DLC. You know, I hope they, I, I hope those maps, they don't have too much bugs. Like Splash, guys, if you remember Splash, back in the, back when the DLC um one came out, Awakening, goodness, man, Splash had so many, had so many bugs. It had the the one where you can go get on top of the map, then it had the one where you can um um like get into this one corner on top of a door where no one will see you and it, i used it for searching it a lot like i used to i used to sit there and and just wait and hear with awareness for the bomb to like be picked up but other than that guys yeah i just hope these new maps don't have those bug issues but if they do a whole hopefully they um you know they resolve them and they like you know like just fix the problems because sometimes well not sometimes all the time I prefer a map without bugs. I prefer a map that's just like, you know, legit. Like, no, I don't want nobody on top of a building that no one know how to get to. You get me? Like, it's just not, it's, it's not cool. I don't like it. Also, um, I hope, I hope these maps don't have too much, like, you know, head glitches or whatever. If they do, oh, well, just put out the ICR. <laughs> yes, sir. But yeah, let's talk about the new upcoming call of duty and i know that that, that everything's a rumor now everything's you, you know nothing's confirmed nothing is like legit but they're talking about a call of duty in space like a call of duty title in space it's called like bond or whatever like guys to me in my opinion i really do not want to see a call of duty that's out of out, outer space like we're not playing like no offense to any halo People, who, if it's gonna feel like Halo, guys, and or kill or kill zone or whatever, like really, this is Call of Duty. <laughs> I just don't, I, I just don't see. It's not that I don't see, but I, I don't get why Call of Duty or the Call of Duty developers or whatever would even agree to not to 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 a Call of Duty title being in outer space. To me, it just it doesn't make sense. You know, if they are gonna bring a new series to the um, Call of Duty franchise. Hopefully it's not something from outer space, guys, or sci-fi, because I really, I'm not really in the mood, or I, I really, I'm not a big fan of that, you know, 
if it's like that, I, I, I might as well get Battlefield. Because Battlefield is, is a good game too. But yeah, hopefully it's not a new, you know, it, hopefully it's not a new, um, well not new, but hopefully it's not like a, a Call of Duty in out sp outer space or whatever. Cause that's just gonna be weird. It's gonna be weird. It's like it's not gonna feel like Call of Duty at all. It's not gonna feel like Call of Duty at all. You know. So hopefully, hopefully it's not like that. But it is. Let's see how. Let's see where it goes. Let's see where it goes. So yeah. Um. I'm, now let's talk about the gameplay, guys. The gameplay is. It's not really that. That much of an interesting gameplay is just a 30 and 9. I just, I, I just, I just wanted something in the background because I wanted to talk and elaborate on the, on the, um, on the, on this subject about the new Call of Duty and the new DLCs. But yeah, guys, um, when the new DLC comes, expect some content from me. Like, um, I, I am gonna be playing a lot of Shino Numa. I'm gonna be playing, um, uh, I'm gonna be playing a butt ton of Shino Numa, guys. So yeah. The first day, I'm gonna try to get like a 30 plus um, zombies gameplay for you guys. Hopefully, I can do it. You know, so that'll be awesome. Also, hopefully, they bring um a new specialist. I was I was hearing HTS speculations of you know like a new specialist being called you know the the warlord or because the warlord is it is in um it's in the campaign. It's big big guy that's very annoying. That has a BRM in, in his hand. If if they bring that to multiplayer, guys, that is gonna be so. <laughs> it's gonna be so freaking. It's gonna get crazy. It's gonna get lit in multiplayer. Literally, guys. Like literally. Like, imagine a, you run around the corner and you see this guy, big, huge guy with a dumb BRM that you cannot, that you cannot, you know. It, 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 and they say that he's gonna have a freaking um a riot shield. Oh hell no! Oh, <laughs> I, just, I just don't I just don't want to see that because that is scary. It's not like it's not scary to the point where it makes you not want to play the game, but it's gonna make it's gonna make multiplayer a little bit more annoying <laughs> because a guy that has three or four times more health than a normal character with a riot shield. And a BRM in his hand that he holds one hand and just starts shooting like crazy. Oh my goodness, guys! That's the only that's the only specials I would rock. Cause that would be the special everybody gonna be rocking. I hope they don't the black market. I really don't want to see the 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 specials into the black market. To be honest, like we paid fifty dollars, fifty freaking dollars for for the freaking season pass, and we haven't got nothing exclusive for us. Nothing. Sorry for my little rant <laughs> at the very end, but nothing, guys. Like for real. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. You know, what do you think is gonna be in the future Call of Duties, guys? What do you what do you want to see in the future Call of Duty? You know, do you want to see a revamped version of you know Modern Warfare 2 or like a Modern Warfare, uh, Modern Warfare 4 or whatever? Leave it in the comments below, guys. And as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I post daily, and if you like what I'm doing on this channel. Drop a like button. Um, drop drop a like button. Yes, sir. Um, drop a like on this video, and I'll see you in a future video. Peace, guys.